The actions of the natural man are determined by his mind. We decide where we want to go. We plan our life according to our insight. But the spiritual man is led by the Spirit of God, not by his own mind and not by his own insight. The spiritual man is born again. He is led by the Spirit of God. As Jesus also said, and I read from John chapter 3, verse 8, The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from and where it is going. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. You must be born again to be able to enter the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is where you are submitted to the Holy Spirit of God and you are doing the will of God. You're not doing what you plan to do. You're not doing your own thoughts and your own mind. You're not doing what the world is doing. That is how a person is who is truly born again. Many people say that they are born again, but they are not led by the Spirit of God. They are led by their own mind. They don't have the Spirit of God. If we do not have the Spirit of Christ, we do not belong to Him. If we are not led by His Spirit, we are not a child of God. Paul wrote in Romans 8 verse 14, Those who are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. If you are a child of God, born again, and filled with the Holy Spirit, then you follow the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Every day of your life, you cannot predict those who are led by the Spirit of God. You cannot predict what God is going to do next. You cannot predict your own life if you are led by the Spirit of God. You're not interested in predicting where you will be tomorrow and what you will be doing. You will be led by the Spirit. You will be waiting on the Spirit of God and Follow Him to do His will. You won't be concerned about the things of the world. You will be doing the will of God. Because you are led by the Spirit of God. Are you born again of the Spirit of God? And are you led by the Spirit of God? Are you truly a child of God? May Jesus bless you.